everyone welcome to automation community today in this video we are going to discuss an example which will be about elevator logic so let's look at the example first elevator logic the elevator should stop at each floor for 5 seconds before moving to next floor so for this example we will use normally open contact as well as normally close contacts we will be also using a memory bit and some timers like tp and t on so let's move to e uh, ti portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this elevator logic this is the interface of ti portal let's go to plc tags and then default tag table so we have one input and one output the input is start button <coughs> And then we have elevator. So this elevator is an output, so its address will start with Q. The address will be Q 0, 0.0. And then we'll go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here we will draw the ladder diagram. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact and then a coil. This normally open contact will be for a start button and this coil will be an elevator. So this elevator should turn on for 10 seconds and in those 10 seconds it will reach another floor. So this will be TP. So we will use a TP here, timer, pulse timer that will turn on elevator for 10 seconds. So the reset value will be 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds the elevator should stop and it should stop for 5 seconds for that we will use a memory bit i will open the branch and then add a coil so this coil will be a memory bit let's say m0.0 so this is a memory bit after that this memory bit should turn on after 5 seconds for that i will use a timer t on and its preset value will be 5 seconds and then we will use a normally closed contact here for the elevator and then to start the elevator again we will use a normally closed contact here that is memory bit that is m0.0 so as you can see here when start button is turned on elevator gets on and it remains on for 10 seconds and in those 10 seconds it will reach another floor after reaching another floor it will stop after 10 seconds and when the elevator will stop this timer will start and after 5 seconds this m0.0 gets through and when it gets through the current will not flow through it as a result this m0.0 gets again off and when it gets off this memory bit as normally close contact when in false state when it gets off the current flows through it and this timer once again starts and the elevator again starts and reach the next floor in 10 seconds and after that it will stop and when it stops m0.0 gets through it gets through it gets off and it gets off and the elevator once again start so elevator starts for 10 seconds reach another floor and then stops for 5 seconds waits there for 5 seconds and again it will go to another floor in 10 seconds and after that it will after reaching that floor it will stop for 5 seconds and this will happen again and again so I will start the simulator here. After that, I will start CPU and then start monitoring. And after that, I will click here to switch to the project view. And after that, I will go to. So here we need to create a new project. And let's wait for some time.
After that, I will go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. I will right click here and load project tabs. So here, when I turn on start button, the elevator starts and it will start for 10 seconds and it will reach another floor and after 10 seconds it reach another floor and get stopped and it remains off for 5 seconds and after 5 seconds it once again gets on reach another floor in 10 seconds and after reaching there it will stop and after 10 seconds it will stop and wait there for 5 seconds and after 5 seconds it will once again start and reach another floor it was all about this example Thank you for watching.